Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I bring you special greetings in the Islamic dialect. May peace and the mercy of Allah be unto you. And this will certainly be the greeting that will dominate in most Muslim houses today. Today we are here at the Black Star Square to be a part and witness a very an integral part, an exercise that forms part of the five pillars of Islam. That's the Eid al Fitr, the end of the 29 and 30 days Ramadan celebration. We are here to basically um, gauge their mood and find out from them what the expectations are, how they intend to celebrate it and the way forward to the entire Zango community. This is Fauzu Masaudu and you watching News Ghana Clock. Come with me. You are as respected as the national passport that you hold. We all agree I'm a successful citizen of a successful country. Accorded better courtesy than a successful citizen of an unsuccessful country. On my part, I want to assure that my government is committed to the task of delivering prosperity to the Ghanaian people. To that extent, every policy that we have pursued so far has been meant to engender inclusive so that we can move away from the old system of governance that left many Ghanaians as a person. I set up the Ministry of Inner Cities and Zogo Development specifically to make the inner cities and Zogo community central parts of our national development today. We want to ensure that inner cities and Zogo communities no longer become exclusive zones breeding despair and hopelessness. The task may be daunting, but our determination is unwavering. There are over 1,080 Zongo communities in Ghana, each clamoring for much needed intervention to let make life more bearable what we could come from. That certainly puts enormous pressure on the minister. But I chose a minister for you who has passion, who has dedication to Zulu communities in Portugal. I urge you to give him the maximum cooperation that is needed to deliver on the vision of the government. Let us be focused to embark on the journey towards bringing prosperity to the over 4 million people who live in our Zulu communities. Allah states in the Quran, and I quote, O oh, you who believe, persevere in patience and constancy. Far in such perseverance, strengthen you and be pious that you may prosper. <laughs> That's not Chief Imam, Zongo Chief Zulama. I'm happy to announce that the Minister for Finance Sign the commencement warrant for the Ministry of Inner Cities and Zongo Development to begin the pet spending on com Zongo communities from the Zongo Development Fund allocation in the 2019 budget. The provision of water systems, <coughs> rehabilitation of school blocks, and the building of new ones, provision of deaths for Islamic schools and the rehabilitation of tertiary drains amongst many other projects will help resolve some of the many challenges that bedevil our Zongo community. So we are still here at the Blast House Square and I've been joined by my brothers, yes, my Muslim brothers, Nas and um, Aulaya, yeah. if, I'm, if I get to try. So um, Nas, let me start with you real quick. Um, today has become like the, the meet me there for all Muslims in the country one way or the other because um, we have various um, praying grounds for uh, Muslims but uh, look, this is where the chief imam leads prayer. So this is the central point for all Muslims today. Nas, where, first and foremost, which area are you coming from? Well, I'm from Nima. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I came here purposely to pray. Put to pray. Yes. Okay. We don't normally pray here, but this uh, this is an event that we celebrate that much, so we have to be here. Very well. And Malaya, where are you also from? Coming from Nima? As you said, I'm also from Nima. Okay. So we came to pray just to praise our uh, Allah and okay. thank. We should like give him. 
give like thanks to him and yeah. Okay. All right, um, um, Nas. I know um, Eid al Fitr um, is, is is very important to every Muslim because it marks the end of our 29 and 30 days Ramadan fast, which is part of our five pillars of Islam. Yeah, yeah. Personally, to you as a Muslim, what that is, what does this day means to you? Well, <laughs> it's a great day for me. It's a great day for me because Allah has given us another life mm -hmm. and another life. He has given us Ramadan, and this Ramadan. When, when you are in the matter of Ramadan, it helps us cut off some things that we used to do. It has, it helps us to, I mean, uh, be born again. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it, it's really good. It's full of blessings. Every Muslim is supposed to practice this. Yeah, that's how it is to me. Okay. Okay. I'm all right. I'm not saying that it's, it's full of blessing. It makes you, uh, in a way, stop, uh, put a stop to certain practices that you used to do as a Muslim because the Ramadan month is a very holy month. Personally, to you as a Muslim, do you feel or do you know for a fact that the Ramadan has cleansed you in a way? Of course, yes. Because during the Ramadan, there are some things that I used to do. But like before to the end, like before we get to the end of Ramadan, I've stopped it. I know that God has answered my prayers. And I've stopped do, uh, doing those kind of bad things, and now, now like, God has blessed us with. And uh, so, yeah. All right. So thank you very much. Um, any final words to um, your Muslim brothers watching you out there? Well, I would like to just tell them that they should keep the faith. Worshiping Allah is by faith, and should do, they should do the right thing. The perception that people have about about our, our, our full, full of Muslims, they should change it. You know, okay. those like. As we are violent, yes, we are this and yes, that. Yeah, we should yes, change it. they should change it. Okay. We are still enjoying the celebrities already, and I've been joined by my little sisters here at the Blaster Square. I'll first ask them which area they are coming from, and what exactly they are here, they, um, incited their decision to be here at the Independent Square. So, um, what, what's your name? Naima. 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 Which area are you coming from? I'm coming from Ko. Who? Ko. Who? Okay. Oh, and your name, please. Sumaya. Sumaya, which area are you coming from? Newtown. Newtown, and you? Nazifa. And which area? Berlin Bridge. Berlin Bridge, okay. Ridella, Berlin Bridge. Okay. I'm Nazifa from Ashali Okay. I am Hairat from Ashali Okay, so um, they, it looks like they are coming from various neighborhoods, but they have converged here today at the Black Star Square to perform the Eid Salat. Um, um, Sumaya, okay, real quick. Sumaya, what does this day mean to you as a Muslim? It is good for me that um, I'm here to celebrate my Salah, my Salah. After that, we, we can even celebrate like Salah Fest, Poo, and we enjoy so a lot. Yes. Okay. And, and, and you from, we are, we are done with prayers from here. Where are you headed to? Some locations. Okay, to go and have fun. Yeah, like pool. Okay. Exactly. Etc. And then you from here, where are you also headed to? Are you also going to the pool side? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, so let me also come to you. Um, there have been a lot of um, say con conceptions about Muslims that Muslims are violent, we like fights and all of that. What message do you have for the people watching you out there as a Muslim? Um, I would like to say that um, our brothers and sisters Muslims to avoid uh, violence, to make our community stay in peace and happiness. That's all. Um, and then also, you you did you, you came here alone or you came with your parents? Actually, I came here with my friends. Your friends. Oh, okay. So you you came as a group yes. to come and perform the Eid. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. That's fantastic. So you'll be living together, would you? Yeah, we'll be living together. I'm, I'm so excited today. I can't. I don't know. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. So from here, where are, you, where are you also going to? I'm going to certain places like the pool, mall. So very excited. Am I, am I invited to the mall or the pool? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, then I'm going to take off my jalabia to join you at the poolside in the mall soon. Yes. Ah, Alright, so high five, high five, high five, high five, high five, high five. Alright, so these are my little sisters here at the Black Star Square and they have told us and um, why they were here. They basically came here obviously to perform the Eid Salat. From here they have plans of visiting the mall, poolside. I mean we're in a festive season and what could be better after prayers than having some chill? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, so it's still Abbasasi now but if you may say no name they say a but you because a bum may bamwa name a fair because uh me nyama be oma a durmuno na me say me you who sa sa genu and so me you are no say me who tommy
Bro, so I just ran into an old friend. I don't know if I should say decades or centuries. I'll just leave the microphone to her to introduce herself to you and the area she's coming from to converge here. Hello. Hi. So tell our lovely viewers your name and which area you are coming from. I'm Nafisa and I'm coming from Newtown. Okay, so Nafisa is coming from Newtown. Nafisa, is this the first time you are coming here to perform ED prayers or no. this is your usual performing ground? This is my usual performing ground. Okay. Okay, so Nafisa, we know um, for a fact that today Edo Feto is a very special day in every Muslim's life. But personally to you, what do you make of the day? How, how important or how special is today to you? Mm, I can't explain. Oh, like, I, I don't know. I don't even know how the to say it. The excitement. Yeah. Too much excitement. So, Navisa, from here, where are you headed to? I'm going home. Okay. Okay. No party, no salad fest. Oh, no, no in the evening, like, I'll be going yeah. out to go and watch friends, some movies. movies. And, uh, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, Navisa, so, what Muslim, what message do you have for Muslims out there right now on this special day? Um, I will tell them, like, they should be prayerful okay. and have faith in Allah. Allah. Okay. Like, they should never give up. So thank you very much. Nafisa is from Newtown and she tells us that we should be prayerful and should have faith in the Almighty Allah regardless. Thank you very much Nafisa for making time for us. But here when sermons were in session, we brought an exclusive of and the speech delivered by the president of the nation, His Excellency Nanado Dankwa Kufuado, and he touched on um, how he is passionate about developing the various Zongo communities in the country. Uh, we also had a chat chat with a lot of Muslims, even their take on the president's development towards building or developing Zongo communities, the message they have for Muslims worldwide, and what have you. Uh, we brought all the exclusive to you right here at the Black Star Square, the Meet Me There for all the Muslims. Muslims across um, the country today and um, where the chief imam, the national chief imam for that matter, led a special Eid prayers. It's a day of celebration, a day of peace, a day of joy, a day of unity. This is News Ghana Clock. My name is Fawzu Masaudu, your reporter. And if the news break, you sure to have it here on this channel. Thank you very much.